The Orion 950 Smart Pinless Wood Moisture Meter provides readings at one quarter and three quarter depth modes. It can store and review up to 100 readings and provide you with minimums, maximums, and averages. It gives you temperature, relative humidity, dew point, and grains per pound readings. And it connects to your smart device so you can log your data and analyze it with the help of the free FloorSmart app for Android and iOS. The first button in the top left hand corner is the on hold button. So if you hit it once or push it once, it will cycle through the current firmware version and then it will come up with a 0.0%, which means that the device is ready to read moisture content. If you're utilizing the Orion 950 in an area where you can't see the LCD display, this button also helps to allow you to take a reading and if you press the button one time, it locks that reading in place so that when you pull it out of the area where you were unable to see the LCD display, you can see what the moisture content of that area was. The next button to the right is the audio button. Now the audio button has two functions. One, if you press it the first time, you have the ability to set a moisture content maximum threshold. And when I say that, the maximum threshold is set so that when you go around and spot check your floor, the meter will make a audio sound that tells you whether or not you have exceeded that moisture content limit that you set. So with the up or down and down arrows, you can go up and down and you can get whatever your maximum threshold is. If you press the button, it allows you to set the volume of that audio alert. Once you have that, on hold, and you're ready to check. Going to the right again, we have the species and material button. So the species button allows you to dial in the Orion 950 to the specific type of wood that you're measuring to give you the best possible moisture content results that you can get. With the meter, you get a what we call a cheat sheet with some of the very popular species of flooring and wood materials. Uh, that you would come across, but there are also online over 7,500 different species and their specific gravity settings that you can dial into the Orion meter. If you press the meter or the species material button again, you have the relative mode. Relative mode allows you to be able to check on a scale of 0 to 100. It allows you to be able to check products or non-wood products such as drywall and things of that nature to give you relative information to tell you if there are areas in that material that are more uh, or that, that have a higher moisture content than other areas. You have a calibration mode that we'll talk about in just a minute. Pressing the species material button for the fourth time you'll come upon the relative humidity and temperature readings. Now these readings are derived from this small little slot right there where there is a relative humidity and temperature sensor much like the or exactly like what we use in the Rapid RH L6 concrete moisture testing device. Now the great thing or the positive thing about having the relative humidity and temperature in this unit is it really does give you the ability to have two devices in one. Not only do you have a wood moisture meter, you also have a thermal hygrometer. And especially when you're looking at trying to determine whether or not uh, wood is acclimated or if it is acceptable to work with, having the relative humidity and temperature really does help with that. And how it helps is by pushing the button again, those two, those two numbers, the relative humidity and temperature, help calculate or give you the equilibrium moisture content. And the equilibrium moisture content is the moisture content of the wood product, or what it should be, if it's left in that consistent environment uh, where you're measuring from for a long enough period. So it, in essence, is the target that you're looking for as you are measuring your wood or wood flooring. Pressing the button again, you have the ability to get calculated dew point. A lot of times dew point is critical either in the building restoration side of the business or if you're looking at uh, trying to determine the potential for having any kind of condensation when you are installing 
flooring on top of a, a concrete subfloor. Lastly, we have GPP, which again, from the restoration side of the world, this is definitely a very critical, uh, a critical calculation and something that this device uh, is able to measure. Moving over to the left-hand side again in the middle, you have the option for your uh, depth setting. So when you have your depth setting, you can either choose, as we spoke about earlier, a three-quarter or one-quarter setting. Once you have that setting, you press on hold and you're ready to go. We talked about being able to get the species setting or to correct the Orion 950 for the species that you're trying to measure. So once you have figured out what that number is, these up and down arrows will allow you to adjust the meter and dial it into that specific setting for that specific wood. The last button we have here is the data button. There are three options on the data button. We can have the data off, on, or auto. So if we have the data on, this allows us to have the meter set up, take a moisture content reading, and by pressing the on hold button once, it will store the information in the meter, and if you're also using the FloorSmart app, it will transmit that information via Bluetooth to your smart device. Now, if we go to data in the auto position, this is personally what I prefer because I can hit the on hold button and all I have to do is put it down and it will automatically take those readings for me. I don't have to press any additional buttons. Once you have all of this information, you can hit the data button multiple times and go through and look at the averages, the mins, the maxes, and you can look at how many readings were physically taken to comprise uh, that data. True in the field calibration of the Orion 950 is easy and quick. First, make sure serial numbers match between the included on-demand calibrator and the Orion 950. The meter serial number is found in the battery compartment. Place the calibrator on its legs on a flat surface. Place the meter on the calibrator platform, correctly seating the meter sensor pad firmly on the recessed area. This is important because if you place the sensor pad anywhere else, it will cause an inaccurate calibration. Move it back and forth and side to side to make sure the pad is firmly seated. Turn the meter on and use the species material button to put your meter in cal mode. Next, press the audio button three times. The meter will beep three times to tell you it is calibrating. When you see the word lift on the screen, quickly lift the meter into the air for about five seconds. When the word done appears, press the on hold button to go back to measuring mode. 